Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 64. So, in the last episode, we started off the Crystal Palace, uh, fought a lot of new enemies, and even got both a blue key and a red key. And now that we've got the red key, we can finally open the red door that we actually entered in and saw at first. So as you can see, we can still head through here, but I think you're supposed to head through this way first. I was right. Um, start off this battle with a boom. Nope, doesn't work. I tried! Um... Dang it, I kinda wanna... I can't just pass up this opportunity to scan him. Dang it, got two hits on me. Enemies transparent. Oh. That's not good. Gray Magic Koopa. This is a gray Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Those gray robes aren't very flashy, but they're kind of cool. Max, H Max HP 11, attack power 3, defense power 0. He can use magic to make his companions transparent. You can't attack him if they're transparent. Let's try to beat him before they become an issue. What do you say? Yeah, I uh, forgot that was a thing. Oh well. Finish him off there. Now we don't have to worry about him anymore. Take one damage there. Um, since we can't do anything anyway, let's just use refresh, take away a bar of SP, and get this back. Uh, kind of wish I'd given a uh, partner focus badge. I think those are in this game, I'm not sure. Maybe the next game. Okay, crane fly, get away from me. Just shoot. Uh, bomb bat. Alright. Now, yeah, she has enough damage to do that. Let's focus, not a problem. Perfect command damage. He is of the B team. We have dealt the five star points. We got him star five star points. We dealt the five damage. And as you can see, this is what we're doing here. We're literally just, uh. I won't let you. I won't let you. And I won't. I won't. You can't. You have to go through me if you want to get past. We're really destroying these so we can get through on the other side. Okay. Um. Power bomb. Destroy the white magic Koopa. And we got this in the bag. Thank you, Bombette, for being amazing. Alright. Crane fly. Seriously, you're just flying all over my recording stuff. Great. I'm showing these battles, of course. I know I mentioned last time I'm going to cut out most, but these A have it, enemies who we haven't fought with before, in at least this case. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said I'm not budging. You got that? Do you have any idea how mad the Crystal King would get if I let you pass here? I don't want to get mad at me, so I have to teach you a lesson. Uh, like I was saying, A has enemies who we haven't fought together like this, and B, honestly, these are required battles. I'd like to keep them in. Alright, I could use Thunder Rage with a Bomb Attack. That'll do it. See, good use of a uh, item that I got via this temple. This dungeon. This whatever. Dead. 11 damage without them even damaging me once. 11 star points, I mean. Whatever. You know, you know I'm messing these things up for some reason. Alright, 
now that we're here, so you're like, oh hey, yeah, I can get through. Why oh, won't let me through? Well, just throw Bombette. She's very useful right now, so she'll flip you over. And actually, I didn't want to flip over yet because I actually forgot there's a secret here. If you throw Bombette at this wall, while it doesn't look like anything, you can actually get through here. You can tell by looking at this side. Actually, you know what? Skip that fight. He's ignoring us, so let's ignore him. Triple dip badge. During battle, let's use three items during one turn. Yeah. Fantastic item. Three items in one turn. If you have three uh, freaking star storms, or star whatever they're called. I don't think they're what they're called. Oh, come on. Shooting stars. If you have three shooting stars, the stars, that's 21 damage in one turn. Without ever, you know, having to worry about it. Uh. I mean, what else am I gonna use it on? This would just speed up this battle, and uh, it's just more helpful than anything else right now. I mean, it's pretty much just a shooting star that I can recite. Sure, it'll cost me one of my FP items, but it doesn't really matter, especially if I level up soon. Which I'm going to. I just need 11 more star points I can level up, and I think there's ba uh, another required battle coming up. I think. I'm not positive on that one. Yeah, he's a little bit late. Alright. Cooper. Huh? Oh. What the? Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Mario, look at me, I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on, I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Koopa, Sonny. You believe me, don't ya? Oh, I'm the real Koopa. There isn't any doubt in your mind, isn't there, brother? Oh, go, okay, old bean. You best smash these imposters one by one. That's a good idea. Brother, you smash them all except me, okay? Yeah. The game really did this to me. I'm just no. Oh. You must choose the imposters. This way? Oh, come on! Can't even change partners or anything. This is such a hard decision. Well, not to be racist or anything, but, um, yeah. Ouch, that hurt! Still good job. You must have incredibly keen eyes to spot me. Darn it! I don't remember C Cooper being, uh, a douche. Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Goodbye. Nor do I remember him being senile. You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Eh, remember me. I'll return. Um, let's be fair. Cooper's like... Cooper wears the exact opposite color scheme of me. Sorry, but... You look lame. I don't know what you're even supposed to look like. Brother, I said I was the real Cooper so many times. So mean. Just joking. I definitely thought I had to go in there, though. Yes, yes. Good call, Mario. I need to get it right. Those are the worst disguises ever. <laughs> yeah, that was the final one, guys. We don't have to do that again. It was just... It was dumb and stupid, and I loved every moment of it. I actually think you need to go down the other way. Okay, down right here. Maple sir. Also, that's how they show you that there's a uh, star syrup, uh, star piece there. Star syrup. Is that what I said? As you can tell, we can't do anything with that statue. That thing is giant. But, and when I say but, I mean but, oh wait, wrong way. If you head over here, you see that little uh, mirror reflection? 
As you remember, the mirror reflection isn't a mirror reflection. It's somebody imposturing us, right? Imposing at us? us? Pretending to be us! So what happens if we get them to press the button for us? Yeah, they're really that stupid. They'll press the button for us, just to keep up that stupid disguise. And they're already gone. Cowards. Alright, now if you head up here, there's another star piece here. But more importantly, oh, I forgot about that. Ah! Let's just grab this while we remember it. Mm, actually... Boom. Oh, this is quite the battle. So, let's start out by jumping on... Actually, let's start out with a Star Storm. There's no reason not to do a Star Storm considering the fact that I am about to level up. In addition to a Star Storm, let's give them a little bit of a blast. With a mega bomb. It only does 7 damage to each, which is just a normal bomb or a power bomb, but it damages all. Oh, come on! One! I need to kill one thing, no matter what it is, so long as it gives me a star point. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's another battle I can do somewhere. Power up defense down badge. Increases attack power one, just increases defense power by one. So it's the exact opposite of the badge we got earlier. So obviously this isn't the way we're supposed to go, but it's kind of a little reflection of that one. I... yeah, it's down here. I believe it's in the same spot as on the opposite side. Yep, and we got a gem and jelly from that. Um... Honestly, I don't care too much about the blueberry. Those things are three. Can you get off the panel? Got the star piece. And with that, I think that's all the one here in the Crystal Palace, all the star pieces. I think there's just those... How many were there? Four? Five? I don't remember. I'll uh, have to check to be sure, but you know. It's locked. You can't open it. I can't? Well, I better head back. There's nothing I can do. I might as well go home. But I wonder... Touching that statue on the other side. Did it maybe do something over here? <gasps> oh my gosh! Also, I just kind of walked off the springboard. Okay, really? Gotcha. Okay, now. I kind of boned myself by doing that strategy last time. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it like this. Oh, I didn't mean to... I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I seriously messed up. And now one of them is transparent. Bombette is trans. Oh my gosh. Um, that's worse than you might know, considering the fact that Bombette is a giant bomb who is super ultra mega charged. She can't even do anything. I might be dead. No, I'm not dead yet. Okay, let's use this ability. I used the wrong one. Are you seriously? Am I that stupid? 
Am I? I did the wrong thing twice. I even ran into a guy. Oh god, I am so dead here. I'm seriously running away from this battle when I need one point left. Super Shroom? Maple Syrup? Death to all who oppose me? Got you. I'm seriously stupid. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot believe that happened. Now, like I was saying, power bomb. And, uh, jump on your head. Raindrops falling on my head. Bomb. Dang it. I should have just killed him first. Power boosted. That sucks. Alright. Let's kill you. Because I should have killed you last turn to stop you from... Oh well. Doesn't matter since, you know... I'm just killing that guy with it. Got five damage. What am I gonna do besides focus? I mean, really. Eat? Am I, am I just gonna eat some uh, tacos? <laughs> Actually, that was kind of cool. I've never seen that animation before. Now, like I was saying, dead. 10 star points. Full heal. Um. FP. I like being able to use lots of moves. I, don't, I like being risky as well with my health. It's kind of fun. Palace Key. Now that I think about it, once upon a time I was actually watching Super Genius's uh, stream. He used to stream this game a bit, and he did an all badge run. That was a really cool run. Not something I would ever do, though. Honestly, I have too much fun with this game to limit myself in any way. All right, so this one's a little bit interesting. These guys are gonna talk to you and stuff, and you can actually uh, push these blocks. But you can only push them the way that the uh, living ones are facing. You can't go through here unless you solve the puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you through. So you can actually face them by talking to them. This one's a really easy one to push, so I'm just going to push this one here. I'm going to talk to you over here. Same thing over here. So you just push him all the way down here. And this is a very simple puzzle once you realize that they're, you know, right there. Talk to him right here. So long as you have recognition of 3D space and know that uh, one way is facing the other. Pretty much, if you're not dyslexic, you can do this fairly easily. And guys, here we are. I kind of wish I was smart, but I'm going straight into this battle without uh, without cutting the episode. I'm going to make these episodes a little bit longer if necessary, because I am kind of want to be on track here with how I want to do these. I want to finish this series within the next seven episodes? Up? No. Let's see. Uh, the last area of the game will probably take around four episodes. 
just a guess. I haven't actually practiced it yet. Uh, then there's going to be a few more bonus episodes with all the other star pieces and whatnot. So, let's do this. Who comes to my palace? Mario, you finally arrived! <laughs> I know you believe you can save the Star Spirit, but I'm afraid I won't let you! First I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an Ice Mario gift! And the battle begins. Alright. Tattle the Crystal Bit. This is a crystal bit. Basically, crystal bits are just pieces of the Crystal King. You can drop them with these. Their max HP is 1, and they're only dangerous when the Crystal King squeeze them out. Their defense power is 0. These guys are pretty weak. They'll keep coming, though, until you finally beat the Crystal King. Okay, um, I'm gonna start the battle with a shooting star. Also, during my practice, I barely survived this battle with my current level. So, I might lose this once, and then go and, uh... Uh, you know, re-equip my badges. I warn you now. Okay, let's use another shooting star. I have these shooting stars on me pretty much for this reason. To take care of all of them so he has to resummon them every time he wants to use them. This is the Crystal King. He's one of Bowser's main guys. I don't know how he managed to take over this palace, but... Max HP 70, attack power 6, defense power 2. He'll attack you by summoning and launching crystal bits. The power of each attack is 4. The number of times he attacks equals the number of crystal bits he's deployed. He's, he'll also try to freeze you whenever he can. Whenever his HP gets low, he may also try to divide and conquer. The power of this attack is 8. You can hurt him only by attacking his real body. If you don't know which one's the main body, you should attack all of them. Pretty brilliant, huh? And, uh, yeah, that's about what I was expecting. I didn't have the timing down. Alright, let's switch over to Bombette. This is actually the reason why I had, uh, uh, FP increase rather than, uh, HP. So that I could use this five times in one battle without having to use any items. Gotcha. Alright. Let's just hammer him for fear of him, you know, having uh, spikes on his head. Just body slam him. And sure enough, he uses that stupid ability again. He will use a lot of things that you should... Uh, Actually, let's not waste it. Let's instead use Star Storm. I say let's not waste it because you're going to need a lot of hit all attacks here. Actually, I think I might beat him easily since, you know, I'm actually, I have uh, full SP this time. When I went into this battle previously, I had zero SP. I was also at like two thirds health. Soon enough, he's going to show off the other ability that uh, Goombario mentioned. Also, I just messed up. So yeah, this battle won't be too hard now that I'm uh, overpowered as can be. And I just realized that I'm overpowered as can be. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I leveled up previously when I did this battle. So I don't think I had the 35. Yeah. Wow, I've actually almost beaten him. Uh, let's bomb him, actually. No real reason not to at this point. Deals 5 damage to him. And now he's using his split up ability. And that's not so hard to deal with, considering the fact that I have star power. With star power, this, bot this battle is way easier than I thought it was going to be. I've almost beaten him. Let's see which one was the real one. The front one. I had that happen so many times previously. It was always the front one. I know it's not always because I've had him be the middle and back before, but you know. Weird coincidences. And I beat him this turn. Now he's... Oh, right, I forgot he can heal himself. 
I just fought him like three days ago. <laughs> and I've already forgotten that. Oh well. And heal himself by 20 again. Uh, should I risk it? I hope this doesn't hurt me. It doesn't. Too spooky for me. I forgot that he has that stupid healing ability. It's annoying as can be. Um, to counter that, I could, uh, I can't use Smooch right now, sadly. Alright, let's just use Power Bounce. Dang it, I'm not good enough at this game. I should be able to damage him over 20 damage in one turn if I didn't suck. And now he uses this. I think I beat him this turn. No, wait. That's only 12 damage. Oh, it's only 12 damage. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hit you with a start and sky with another uh, PK Star Storm. PK Star Storm! See, the middle this time. And... Let's not even take any risks here. Let's just bomb him. Beat him. This boss was not hard. I forgot he could heal himself by 20 per turn if you don't beat him quickly when he's that low. Oh no! The last star of spirit, King Bowser, forgive me! And he fades out of existence, becoming one with the snow around him, forever loved by the snowflakes. One with his beloved snowflakes. And guys, are you ready? The final star spirit. Not only the final star spirit, but also the end of the final rescue and the beginning of our assault on Bowser's Keep. Guys, I'll see you guys next time. End of chapter!